Hi, my name is Ben Viglietta and I want to talk to you about a hummingbird feeder. I'm kind of a household engineer. Not an engineer with a degree of any kind, just someone who likes to make things at home rather than paying high prices for them at stores. And I especially like it when I can make something at home for inexpensively, which is better than the ones I find at the stores. So, this is about hummingbird feeders. First, a little background. I've used a lot of different hummingbird feeders, and they're, frankly, mostly a complete pain in the neck. The problem is that you put uh, very sweet syrup into them, you put them out in the hot sun. Very quickly, they're all fouled up with black fungus, mold, or whatever those different color things are, as well as ants and bees. And then they're impossible to clean because of the small holes in the interior parts of them. So we're going to make a hummingbird feeder which is easy to make, very inexpensive, and way solves that problem. Here I'm going to show you the things I have for my little kit. I'm going to make one right now. A pair of scissors, ordinary hole punch, a cup, which is going to be our hummingbird feeder, a pen, a, uh, what's this, a bamboo skewer, some string to hang it with, some red plastic tape. You can find it at the dollar store sometimes in a multicolored pack with several different colors. This is some other stuff I had. And after we get done with the hummingbird feeder, we're going to mix up some, some hummingbird food. Okay, first the cup. This is a plastic cup, sort of a party cup. And you have to be a little concerned with which one you get, because there's one that's kind of brittle, has a straight edge at the top, and that, if you attempt to punch holes in it, will crack. This one is a bit of a soft one, but I found them at two different stores. I happened to get this one, 12 in a package, for a dollar. So even if that's a high price at eight cents a piece, I'm thrilled. All right, let's start. First, we're going to make our little flowers from this plastic, red plastic tape. I've already cut them, but what they are is little one-inch cubes, squares, I mean, of the red plastic tape. We're going to take this and put it on the cup right up near the edge of the cup. One on one side, Tape it down. A second one directly across from it and close to the top edge. Now, for the birds to eat from the little flower, we're going to take our hole punch and stick it down the edge of the cup about as far as it'll go, happens with these one foot one inch squares to be the center of the red square. One flower. Two flowers. Now for two holes to put a string on the cup. Just going 90 degrees around it and opposite each other and halfway between the red flowers, we will put this hole close to the edge so that it's higher on the cup than the flowers. We don't want the bird food to come out these little holes. So here's one. Now this next step is the one exacting part of the whole process. So far it's very easy. You have to have these two holes directly across from each other so that the thing hangs level. If they weren't then one side would be heavier than the other and it would be tilted. So it's not too hard. I take a straight stick of some kind, this is a bamboo skewer, set it on the hole that I've done already, and just eyeball it. Just eyeball it, because it's quite easy to do, and mark directly across, making each side equal. Now we will punch that hole.
Okay. Perfect. Cut a little length of string. And put it on our feeder. Take it in from the outside. Other end in from the outside. This you could do it however you want. I just let it stretch across the cup. So I only, that way I only have to tie one knot. Trim that little extra off, make it look nice. And now we have a completed hummingbird feeder. Now the beauty of this feeder is that when it gets messed up with uh, any kind of bugs or other kind of mess, be, mess in it, you just take it in the house and you clean it. You can throw it away for eight cents. And I take them in the house and I clean them and uh, if I'm using soap I rinse them very well. I don't want any soap in there. And I love it. Now you could say, well it's open on top. Yeah, no problem. Well it's going to get rained into. No problem. It's so inexpensive and the solution is inexpensive too. Now for the solution. My solution to the solution problem is a dollar store baby bottle that I can see through, which I find to be just very convenient. It's got uh, gradations on it so you can sort of measure how about about oh two, two and a half of sugar Fill her up with water, up to about eight ounces, which is going to make a little bit more than is enough to fill my feeder, but I don't care. Some of it will spill out. And this is so convenient the way this works because y if I put it right in the microwave, get it quite hot. I don't think you have to do that, but it, it just uh, dissolves the sugar very easily. So I put it in the microwave, get it hot, I can shake it, and that works well because the hole in the nipple lets the uh, the, the pressure out and it doesn't you know, pop your cover. Matter of fact, they even put that on there sometimes too so that if it does spray out a little bit. Anyway, shake that all up and I've got one batch of hummingbird food. And I don't put any red food coloring in it. I just, I don't think it's necessary. And the, the gurus on the internet say that it's not necessary too. So that's it. I love it. It's the best hummingbird feeder I've ever used. In my next installment is going to be about bluebirds because I have a bluebird house which is the easiest one in the whole world to make. It uses a stretch of 1 by 6 pine. All cuts are square.